Okay, in this video I just wanted to do a quick one about how I kind of organise my photos once I've shot them. So there's been a couple of times where um, I've either worked with other people and we've worked through the shots and you know they'll, they'll be sat there doing things like kind of going through picking out odd, odd kind of JPEGs from raw files and you know it can all be a, a little bit messy so it's just a quick breakdown of what I do so as a kind of overall here you know I've got like my work folder with my photos in broken down by the, the shoots that I've done obviously that's fairly standard there's nothing special there and then what I'll do is I'll grab everything off my camera so if you watch this channel you know I'm using the Lumix GH6 um, I'll shoot everything in RAW I've done a video on why I do that, but um, I've got everything in RAW and I'll also shoot everything in JPEG. So the first thing I'll do, I'll quickly go through and I'll just skip through them in preview, just jumping past the um, past the RAWs. And then, you know, I'll, I'll go through and I'll, I'll just delete any shots that I just don't think are worth keeping. You know, there are some in there that are debatable. They're not quite sharp enough, but there's a sort of a degree of sharpness that I'll kind of allow and you know some of these cars are only caught once so um, you know there, there's certain criteria that I'd have for kind of keeping a photo or not but essentially I'd go through delete the JPEG and RAW files to the ones that I don't want and then the next step rather than having to do that whole process of like clicking on off for these you know I've got 628 files in here they're just a lot of burst shots so what I'll do is I'll just come up to view. Um, it's probably worth uh, mentioning this is on a Mac, but you can do similar things on the PC. So um, if you go to sort by, you can actually sort them by kind. And then you can see here, we've got the JPEGs at the top. And then there's quite a clear break halfway down to the raw files. So then what you can do is what, what I generally like to do is just do a space. So, um, you know, what will happen is if you do a space it should just sit at the top um generally in this mode anyway the folders sit at the top so um you know you this sort of all hinges around using uh the window like this which i like to do you know you might have it in um you might switch into kind of the tiled view um which doesn't really help because i'm in the jpeg folder there but if you switch into the tiled view you know you might like to sort through your images um, with thumbnails like this, maybe bigger thumbnails. But um, what I like to do is switch into this this view here. So it's um, if you hit Command and three, it will put you into that view. Command and two is just the the singular kind of list. Command and one, you can jump into your kind of um, you know your thumbnail previews. Um, like I say, I generally like to just kind of be in this one, and then what I'll do is just capture all those JPEGs. So just clicking on the top one, hold Shift down, click on the last one, and then you've got all your JPEGs, and then you can literally just drag them into that JPEG folder. And then once they're in there, make sure they're copied before renaming the folder. Um, and once they're all in there, you can just get rid of that space and just have that called JPEG. And then create yourself a new folder again i'll put a space in there just so it doesn't drop down to the bottom or if it tries to sort it between other things grab your top raw file hit shift grab the bottom one and then move that into raw and i'm not totally sure if that's happened or not i don't think it has oh they're just copying in okay so um yeah and now you've got obviously your raw files and your JPEG files. And the reason I don't do this as a first thing is really just because, you know, if you're sorting through your, the raw files take longer to, to kind of view in the preview and sometimes they don't look quite right. So I'll always kind of use the JPEG as the kind of eyeball shot just to have a look at it. Um, but the trouble is then if you want to delete these, quite often what you have to do is mark them up as a, a colour or something, so a red to get rid of it. And then you have to remember, okay, I need to get rid of 7, 2, 8 in the RAWs. And it's just a pain to work with. It'd be really nice if you could um, kind of alias files so you kind of say, you know, all of these things called this are linked to these ones here. And then, you know, when you delete a RAW file, it deletes the JPEG, or when you delete the JPEG, it deletes a RAW file. And also... 
renaming would be really useful for that as well so if you could sort of combine two files i don't know of any way you can kind of do that on the mac it is something that i've looked for but I, i've never really found a kind of conclusive way of doing it but you know if that's something that you know how to do um i'd be all ears about that because that is that would be a really useful kind of uh, tool to have but um, yeah, this has essentially been sort of how I'll break it down. So then, like I say, you've got all your JPEGs, you've got all your RAWs. Um, and then quite often I will just mark them up with colors. So, you know, I'll find the, the RAWs that I like the best. And then they'll, they'll essentially be the ones I want to edit to go into Lightroom. So, you know, you can just right click on any, any of them and you can mark them up with a color. Um, or on the, um, uh, on Windows, I don't use it that that much, but I believe you can mark it with a rating on there. So, you know, you could potentially mark them up with star ratings and you'd be able to filter them and organize them by that. So they could go into your um, photo editing software from there. So it, it's just kind of simple workflow stuff, but you know, even just that sort by kind, it just, it saves you so much time. And then once you're back out of that, you can just go view and then you can change it back to whatever you have it as last created name, whatever it is, and then it's just back to how it should be. And you can see it it sorts both of these folders as well because they're kind of internal folders to it. So they're all sorted by name still. So um, yeah, it, it's really just a bit of a kind of, hopefully something that will, will save you a little bit of time when you're kind of importing your pictures and, and cycling through them. But um, yeah, I'd be interested to know, you know, what other people out there are doing and how you kind of handle sort of post photography workflow. It's not always so bad as this for me because I'm not always shooting hundreds and hundreds of photos, but in these kind of instances where I've got a lot to sort of sift through and delete and, you know, it can just be very sort of time consuming and it's a shame to let something kind of tedious ruin you know the photo process because sometimes you know I know a lot of people that just shoot lots of photos and then they just end up sitting in folders because they just don't want to sort through them and you know that's obviously a real shame because there's probably a few gems of photos in here and you know I'm not saying there's any great ones in here but it's um yeah it's nice to kind of look through them and then you know you can pick out the pick out the best ones I'll probably just be going with a handful of shots from this but I need to sort through all of them to kind of find those good shots and I know ideally you know you'd be handling a lot of this whilst you're shooting so you know taking your shots checking them on the back of the camera the, the trouble is just sometimes when you're bursting a lot of shots and you, you need to really check in the focus it's quite difficult to kind of punch in I mean a to punch in and b to sort of have the time to do it so this is really more in those situations where you can't kind of do it whilst you're shooting yeah like I say let me know in the comments if um you know you've got a kind of different method or how you kind of work with um with your kind of photo workflow because I'd, I'd be interested to hear so just leave a comment and if you found this helpful please give the video a like if you want to see more content like this then please subscribe